Affirmative action. Affirmative action. Affirmative action. The court has effectively ended affirmative action in college admissions. On June 29th of this year, the Supreme Court issued a new ruling that curbs affirmative action guidelines that have been in place for almost six decades. This is a significant change to the law that many believe will have far-reaching effects on college applicants, universities, as well as companies across the nation. We will be broadcasting a three-part special series to provide information about the history of affirmative action, how the new ruling affects students applying to college, and how Masters is helping students navigate this new landscape. In general terms, affirmative action is the effort to improve opportunities for underrepresented groups that have been subjected to discrimination. In the context of college admissions, affirmative action relates to the consideration of race when admissions departments are deciding on student applications. To learn more about this topic, I had the privilege of interviewing Akil Bello, a nationally recognized admissions, testing, and education expert and also a father of a student in our senior class. Affirmative action is a long-standing policy that was designed to address some of the historic inequities that have existed in American society. You know, colleges have existed forever and many of them didn't allow black Americans to enroll until well into the 1900s. Akil provides his point of view on the potential impact of the Supreme Court's ruling. Part of the problem is going to be who has the fortitude to stand behind their principles and stand behind all the statements they made around equity and inclusion and all of that and, and actually say, no, we're doing it this way and this is how we're doing it. So I think you're going to see some places that will maintain the same level of diversity um, that they've had in the past, some places that will increase, um, despite the, the, the legal repressivism that this case was really designed to create. However, some schools may allow the Supreme Court's ruling to affect their practices more. Harvard has spent tens of millions of dollars defending themselves. There are going to be institutions that are like, we're going to reduce the percentage of black students because that's the only way to prove that we've, that we've followed the ruling. Critics of the Supreme Court's decision says that if affirmative action has to go, the legacy admissions has to go as well. Now, many colleges are reconsidering their legacy policies after the Supreme Court's recent ruling gutted affirmative action based on race for admissions. Bello comments on the issue with legacy admissions. So when we think about all of the different things beyond high school curriculum slash high school GPA that colleges consider, Legacy admissions is probably the worst. When we're saying you're looking at the genetic heritage of a student and whether they inherited wealth from their parents, like, it's a very strange throwback to the aristocracy to consider legacy. And here's why. Legacy admissions give a tremendous advantage to a certain group of applicants. New data from a Harvard research group shows the children of alumni are about 33% more likely to be admitted to an elite private college. Bello shares his thoughts on a key misperception that affirmative action has created. One of the things that bothers me in this conversation is the belief, whether it's explicitly stated or implicitly stated, that the vast majority of black students at these places are getting in simply because of affirmative action or because of race conscious admissions, which I'm going to say is not true, has probably never been true. Yeah. Clearly there has been a lot of debate on the impact of the Supreme Court's decision, but we couldn't miss the opportunity to ask Bello for some advice for students applying to college. You're going to get in. It's really only a question of where. Mm -hmm. So be comfortable with the uncertainty of I'm not sure where I'll go. Um, but I'll end up somewhere good. Right. If you do that, it'll be fine. We were very fortunate to hear from an expert like Akil Bello on this topic. Make sure to tune in for part two of the Affirmative Action series where we talk about how this will affect students applying to college.